Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Winterson Guitar Lesson Session Numero Kolme. <laughs> oh, this is the July Hot Edition. Yeah, shit. Exactly. Asim hosting this one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Easy way. So host, goddammit. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the ghost. Yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today... We're going to be learning together something interesting. I'll be showcasing Yari, one of the licks that I just made yesterday. Teach me, master. Yes. <laughs> Teach me, bastard. Well, um, and um, we already are dying here because of the heat. So it's going to be very interesting because this is the July session of the heat session. It's, yeah, the, it's been really hot here in Finland. It's crazy. It's crazy. I bet it's it's been going around everywhere as well at the so moment. Like give that. us a break if uh, please the teaching doesn't go as expected. Yeah, give us a cold one. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I have a couple of there. Ronnie, thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> Let's go to sound. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So this is going to be an interesting one. This involves um, you can actually play it in every every kind of scale. But the whole point is to have that technique, you know. And what you can, what key are we gonna do? We are gonna stick around with the uh, key of uh, A, A right. minor, A major, augmented Lydian kind of everything kind of involved in it. Mm. But you can make it your own as well. The whole point is that the technique is the important case, right? So where you can do the pull-offs, where you can do the slides, where you can do the triplets and all that kind of stuff. So we look into it, and it has a very interesting bending thing that I generally tend to do because of the Eastern classical stuff. So this is kind of your style? Kind of. That you have de yeah. developed? Kind of developed, exactly. But it's the, more or less, you know, because I want to bring the Indian classical style more onto the guitar as well with these kind of special bending. So those kind of phrasing particularly. So I think that would be beneficial to have an idea how they can benefit and how you can make that sitar kind of a vibe on the guitar so let's well you can make sitar vibe just put the lowest action that you can yeah <laughs> just one string and ready to go that's it that's all you need <laughs> like this well there you go <laughs> <laughs> that's it you don't need no sitar man Spe well, special bend exactly why do you need sitar like put so much money in <laughs> That's like if you <laughs> All right, so let's look into it. Let's so do it. We're going to start with the 11th fret on the A string. It's going to be an interesting bend here. The two times bend. Oh, okay. Yes. Let me see. same thing that you know you do in um, for instance sounds of winter and star thing like right. you can kind yeah, but of that's trill exactly but you can involve That's I, I I tend to do that. Yes, and you can do that way, so or you can bring this like quick. Yeah. Or you can bring the. So you can even do as much as much hammers as you want, depending on like this is the, yeah exactly this is the development that you need to do in your hand to have, sit down with just say like any hammer on that kind of thing right so yeah. that's what you can do but the double after the double bend then it's the double hammer which is that was single you can do double time but you can even do the single as well yes yes and then the fingering is important here because we're gonna continue in a in a 
you know, major shape, which is right. Is that the basic A, a minor? Yes. Clear. Exactly. Right. So you should know that. Yes. <laughs> If you don't know it, then what? What, what are we? What are you doing here? Yes. <laughs> what, what's 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 the whole point? There's no point. There's no point. Forty-two. Okay. Here we go. So um, bending that, and then you have to go back as a slide from the eighth fret to the seventh fret. And then slide back to A. Yes. And then oh. back to Yes, exactly. So that's the first phrase. Exactly. Exactly. Right? And then right after that. So you go down and the Then it comes the sweep. Then comes the sweep, exactly. Down down. Right? So Till the point of uh, the first hit that you do is a downstroke or upstroke, depending on your choice. But then there's no no picking in the A string. Oh yeah. Right. So the next picking comes actually on the D and G string, which is the eighth fret and oh, sorry the so tenth fret. So you pick first one time. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. And then you. Yes, go down. And only picking is on the 10th fret and the 9th fret. Yes. Yeah. And both down. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. So this is the first part, right? And most of the technique would be actually applied on the next phrasing as well. The phrasing is similar to what we just did right now here. The most important bit is this one. <laughs> Do it in a, in so a when we get to the G string, there's mm -hmm. something. Yes, and then you go from the seventh, uh, sorry, ninth fret, tenth fret, and then thirteenth fret. Exactly. So. Exactly. So. Let me actually remember what the hell. Is. Yeah, exactly. So it's you a cannot fast. play it slow. No, <laughs> that's the weirdest bit, you know. When you get used to your own thing, it's really hard to explain it slow in the slow version because either you just play it very slow and then showcase yeah. the whole thing. So then it's um, after so that. Just pull off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Correct. And uh, it's up, the, up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. And then it's down. And then up. up. Correct. Yes. So, finishing that in that, uh, the whole first part. Let me try to get there. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. 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 Are these picked? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, correct. So, yeah. yes, and then the next phase is that you come fast back on the ending on the G string on the ninth fret, is you go down, down. So, It's your preference, actually. What yeah, I yeah. do, yeah, yeah. what I do when I only play the last three strings, generally, what I do is I go if I have this, right? So I play down, pull off, up, down, down, down. Yeah. Right. But the upper strings, I always keep it to up, starting point. Do you understand what I'm so saying? So which one are you doing here? Up. Yeah. Okay. And then down, down. Actually, when I started doing sweet picks, mm -hmm. this is basic. Mm -hmm. I think I do it first like up, up, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But I think 
that's the if that feels better. Yeah, right. if you prepare exactly, you can exactly. do the three string sweep there, so it's correct. Yeah, kind of can get it faster. And it has a very good accentuation, or the um, the right word would be for that that it has the good articulation, particularly when you go down, down, down like that. <laughs> Right. So after you've done this, yes. uh, let me check. Yeah. So then you slide from the ninth fret to the thirteenth fret. I mean, it depends. It, you can either play it. I prefer not to play it. I have that, you know, keeping the kind of like smooth slide and hammer vibe, right? So you just slide and hammer to the fourth, uh, slide it to the thirteenth fret, and hammer yeah. on the fourteenth. Yes. Right. So ending up at. That's the second chord. So yes, exactly. So that's the ending part right there, right? And after that, it's twelve, thirteen, just plucked, and then again twelve, thirteen. But then this time, yes. Yes, correct. So picking, then, and then the fret, fret is sixteenth, right? Yes, correct, exactly. And then you come up having two notes per string, and that would be wait. Yes, let me try to the whole thing. Get from the beginning to there right. first. Yes. Yes, correct. Just remember the picking. Right. Yes, correct. Yes. And by itself, it's a cool lick as well. If you come back on the B string with an upstroke, that would help you. Yeah, I did that after right. I, I realized it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nee, exactly. So yeah. that that's pretty much the ending point till there, right? And this thing you can apply, as I said, there are so many variations that you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing here as well. Right? Yeah. You can do the same thing here because what you're doing is you're playing the same thing in the octave. Yeah. That's the interesting bit because the notes are the same. Just this transition. Exactly. exactly. So I mean, it could be made into its own arpeggio just by sticking here and coming back, basically, right? But then, what I do the next thing is uh, after playing the right. What, what do I do? Actually, I need to remember. So that's what I do. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. So. Oh, so yeah. So there's. I noticed the pattern there. Right. What is that? Yeah. Something so like coming that. up. 
So coming backwards after, is after like, this. Yeah. So that's like that. And then you go back. Yes, like that. Oh, okay. See, yeah. If I got it right. Which way do you alternate pick this? Right. So if you start with an upstroke, then it would be every time. Yes. So you would recommend to start it with the upstroke. Yeah, exactly. So you come here. Up. I mean, so you can do it with the downstroke as well, but I prefer to do it with the upstroke because I feel like, you know, you're coming backwards, so it's much easier to just... Yeah, but then the beginning starts like... Yeah. Nee. And it ends at a downstroke if you start yeah. with the downstroke. But if you start with the downstroke. So upstroke, if you do basic like. So if you do like basic. Mm -hmm. it, it's easier than. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. It's easier that way. So it depends on your picking style. That's one of the reasons I never you know, emphasize on like do it the way I do it. If you feel like doing it to make it like downstroke as well why not it's like you know yeah so important thing to remember to pick it up up if you just remember that the then, rest of it is alternate picking then, it would automatically start with an upstroke on was it, every string was it so it's like just one time so no it's like oh. so you kind of repeat it okay yeah Try that with down or upstroke. Up. Yeah. Try it with. But I just think it that I do it downstroke. Yes. Yeah. That's your thing. <laughs> now you did it with the upstroke. Really? Yes. But I up. Yes. Yes. That's how I prefer. It. That's what how I did it. Yes, but do you prefer it that way or the downstroke? This way. Yes, exactly. Um. Yeah, so try it both ways, you know, yeah, try it downstroke it's and much, try it upstroke. Much easier, like. Because. We got a new lick right there. That would be impossible to do the other way. Upstroke, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can do it, but generally it's the yeah, pick slanting practice. gets involved, you know. That's that's where the pick slanting gets involved. But that's one of the reasons why the speed gets affected. So if you have a descending lick going on, uh, sorry, ascending lick going on, then it's better to do it with the... Yeah, but it's more natural style. Exactly. If you do exactly. basic check what exactly. exactly. It, it starting with a downstroke. Would be kind of a little bit unnatural to do it. Exactly. At least for me. Exactly, for me as well. For me as well. It but, is doable when yeah. you have a very proper, you know, pick slanting uh, practice all around for the things. But why to why to make your life complicated? Yeah. I mean But it's actually important to try another ways absolutely to make yourself versatile player but if you don't have a sauna and you have yeah. 45 degrees outside then you outside, cannot be a good guitar player no you can't what 
<laughs> so well, first, anyway, get anyways, a sound I actually, yeah. when I was learning the three per strings, <laughs> I learned them also like absolute. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. when then you can, it comes kind of second nature. Yeah. You can play anything. <laughs> But everything is possible if you have the pixelantic like element going on. Like for instance, the, what Yari said, like about the upstroke. Uh, sorry, um, talked about three notes per string. And if you start with the upstroke, like right. But if you can start with the downstroke. It's, And if you involve the pix landing there, then it's doable as well. But then the speeds get affected. So naturally. By the way, we gotta do the pix landing thing. Oh, we should. On a, another video. Indeed, indeed. But so now I have no fucking idea what it is. <laughs> but you have that element, but it's like you know, getting to consciously know it. That's the yeah. important bit. How you change the direction of your pick, basically rotate it or tilt it, not rotate it, but tilt it. I kind of know to... something about it. I watched a few videos, but mm-hmm. no one has really explained it to me, like really. Sit down in detailed way. We'll do it. And we'll do a video. Absolutely. We'll get naked. But l- I mean. But let's try to do your lick. Exactly. Do you full. remember it now? Let's see. Let's see. Exactly. I fucked up the ending. No, but that's all right. Do a little bit differently. Yes, you did it with the downstroke, but yeah. that's okay. That's all right. You but showed you that can, full, full you thing. can you can end it as well with the Malmsteen kind of a style. Yeah. So. Now I didn't do the. So it depends. It, it's the feel, you know. Sometimes you feel it, sometimes you don't. But the whole thing is like the way we have learned it so far. Right. That's the tricky bit, right? <laughs> and if you were, if you were just want to play it slow, you know. <laughs> right. Um, but that's that was pretty much it. So you can involve your own style into it as well. You could do the same thing right here also as I mentioned. Yeah, the transition part is right. important. Correct. I think the most problem that generally everybody might get is coming back, which is from here. Yeah. Right? Because, as I mentioned, I do it when I don't do the uh, else than the lower three strings. If I come upwards, then I always come back as like economy picking sweep. Yeah. It's much easier for me to come back up, up yeah. instead of up, so, down, down. Yeah, I would actually recommend breaking it to little parts and do a little mini exercise right. with everything like. Correct. Stuff like that. <laughs> And like like that. Exactly. And you can involve that now anywhere. Same thing on a different arpeggio, or whatever. Yeah, but when, when all those leaks kind of gets glued into your exactly. spine, then, exactly. then you can apply them uh, in the different exactly. scales and patterns. Like the first, now if we break it down, the first part could be... And the second one... Third one... 
fourth one fifth one that's it so five six six different you know parts you can break them down and practice each done and then add one two one two three and fourth one and fifth one and eventually it would become Should we something. make a like a little challenge if you guys want to send a video to us that would play yeah. play the slick exactly show us your Perfectly. way of doing better than us it. yes that would be good <laughs> so we can we can start learning <laughs> <laughs> all right let me show you guys how it's done yeah guys you should make tutorials for us yes that would be good because so, we need to learn too exactly that's a great idea so it would be like a back and forth you know yeah we scratch your back and you scratch our back deal <laughs> Money, <laughs> exactly. Was that it? Or yeah, this, this was uh, this was the this was the lick. All right, that exactly. was a cool lick, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. It's like um, the... and of course you can do the same ending to make it more exciting. So. Nice. Gotta practice it. As I mentioned, I made mm -hmm. it yesterday, so. Make it exciting. Make it exciting. Sex exciting, sorry. All right. We will see you guys on the next video. That's it. That was best. Probably. Hey guys, if you need tabs for this video, you can get them from our Patreon. The link is in the description. So go check it out. There's also a lot of other fun behind the scenes stuff. Winters and live videos, winters and podcasts and so on. And also your support will help us grow. So thank you guys.